Well, Christmas is just days away. The last thing you want is for your tree or your home to go up in flames. The Red Cross and Salt Lake City Fire working together to keep people safe this holiday season. News specialist Kara Bracken joins us live. And Kara, they're particularly concerned about those real Christmas trees. You got to pay attention to those. And that's right. And listen, there's only 10 seconds that it takes for a live Christmas tree that is dry to go up in flames. And from there, if you have any kind of furniture beside that tree, it only take about a minute. So in this case, this demonstration was actually just here behind me. And so it was outside. That was exposed area where that demonstration was taking place. So anything inside, of course, it would be that much worse. In the fire, a lot of that heat was escaping. In a house, it doesn't. It gets contained and it ends up catching the rest of the room on fire. It takes literally seconds for a fire starting from a dry Christmas tree to spread, but it takes minutes to put out all the flames, even by firefighters themselves. A lot of those plastics start to burn down and turn into uh, the couch. The materials really essentially end up being a bunch of melted plastics. So that presents a certain hazard to the firefighters as well uh, in our ability to put it out and extinguish it, as well as the chemicals that we uh, encounter. Salt Lake City Fire says every year across the U.S. there are about 200 of these kinds of fires a year. A handful of those happen here in Salt Lake. Your best bet if Christmas tree flames start flying is to stay low to the ground and get out of the house. So this is just a typical fire extinguisher that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, any uh, hardware store. Um, and this is what most people have in their home. This is uh, not going to be very effective. Uh, we have way too much fire in such a short amount of time. Prevention is key. Some things you can do to keep a fire from happening in the first place. Make sure the tree is at least three feet from any heat source, such as a space heater, heat vent, or fireplace. Also, always turn off tree lights before leaving home or tucking in for the night. So I want to give you a closer look now of this demo. What happened? So this is what is left. Those are the couches that are left after the Christmas tree, which is right in the middle of those couches, went up into flames. And guys, I was counting the seconds down, and it really was around that 10-second mark that that tree was up in flames. Did not take long at all. I will tell you, too, the Red Cross does have a fire campaign where they will install three free smoke alarms for families going into January. This is kind of the time when those trees have been up for a while and it's time to either uh, toss those or make sure that they are well watered and still green so none of this kind of thing has happened there in the future. For now, they're reporting live in Salt Lake City. I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News. Yeah, I remember as a kid, Army falling under the tree to water it for my mom and dad. So just don't get distracted. Keep those trees green. Kara, thank you.